I feel like that's, yeah. Hold on, I got a text. Oops, sorry. Um, so I just got home from work and I had a package on my doorstep, which always excites me to come home from work to a package because you have this crummy day at work and then you come home and it's like, boom, present. It was from Colored Rain. Um, I've already owned the Vivid palette before. I just broke it down and put it into my kit so I don't actually have a personal one anymore so now I have a personal one just looks like that it's beautiful it's wonderful it's not what I'm using today I don't think I wanted to use the juicy boost palette because it's limited edition as far as I know it's like a new collection that they have here let's get a let's get a nice little close-up of that look at that y'all that is just to me, that's just stunning. All these beautiful matte shades. I really loved it for the shade Cucumber Avocado and Mint Leaves, just because they're really interesting, sort of more sagey toned greens, as well as this whole row of pinks. And that's amazing. Um, the glitter shades are really fun. I don't know, I just, I saw this and I was like, why not? It's fun, I need it. Um, also, wow, look at how greasy. Um, so I took all of my makeup except for my eyebrows off, so I am going to hopefully get cracking on with a little first impressions of this palette. They are <sighs> amazing. I don't know. I love colored rain shadows. I am entirely anticipating adoring this palette. Um, I don't know that I really, I don't know, I'm like not really dressed up for this and I'm currently on my cycle so I'm really not looking to dress up today but I don't know I think this could be fun. I'm gonna start with my usual base of Max Painterly Primer on my finger. I think I am going to do a halo eye today with the pinks and orange shades because I do have another shade from JD Glow Cosmetics that I've wanted to try and use so we're gonna do that. <laughs> I'm going to start with a brush by the brand Jessup. It is the 231 Petite Crease Brush. It is just a small fluffy crease brush and I am going in with the shade. I'm actually gonna go in with Citrus Zinger. That's that like creamy yellow color at the bottom there. And I'm just gonna start this Obviously, it's not something you're going to really notice or see right away, but just to kind of get a base layer down that I can then blend out with, I think this color would be really stunning on some darker skin tones. On mine, it's more of a transitional shade, but it is coming up as like sort of a nice pastel creamy yellow. After that, I'm going in with the 228 Luxe Crease Brush by Jessup. As you can see, it's just a little tapered crease brush. And I'm just going to go in... That's so distracting. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go in with... What am I going to go in with? I'm going to go in with Turmeric Shot, which is this... Um, not neon yellow, but kind of neon yellow, you know. You know what I mean. Don't you love when you screw up? Isn't that fun? Um, so I'm just gonna blend that through the crease with that like sort of creamier yellow. Just sort of create this really nice buffed out color. And then I'm gonna go in some of these darker oranges and pinks here in just a second but I just want that really nice buffed out look I do like to go back and forth while I'm blending just to make sure that those first few colors don't kind of get lost with my other shades. 
if that makes sense. This brush is by BH Cosmetics. It's their number 17. Um, it's again just another, it's a smaller sort of blending brush. And I'm going in with Orange Carrot. Um, and I'm going to take a little bit of Apple Strawberry as well. So Orange Carrot and Apple Strawberry, these two. That's who I'm going in with. And I'm actually going to kind of take that down to the outer edge of that crease. Remember that it's loud. One thing I really like about Colored Rain is how they blend together so seamlessly. I have loved <laughs> Colored Rain since the Vivids were first introduced. I found them probably from Twitter. And, I mean, it was a blessing <laughs> to find them. They are pretty much a staple now in my makeup collection. Um, because their shadows are just so easy to use, even the brighter shades. Like, that's that was not hard. Um, they're buildable. The mattes blend out really nicely and I feel like for mattes especially if you've been playing with makeup for a really long time you know that like mattes can be kind of hard to get right um when they're bright colors when they're neutral colors obviously that's like one thing but <laughs> I feel like these colors just really blend well even though they are like matte shades um, and again I'm just gonna go back in with more of that orange and blend this out a little bit and just kind of keep going back and forth until I get the basically the color grading that I want I just smack myself in the face that's cool and fun and nice and wonderful And I'm not worrying too much about getting any product on this middle part because I'm gonna go over it with a concealer anyways when I cut the um, when I cut the center out for the halo. So I'm not super worried. Now I'm just gonna go in with apple strawberry by itself um, on that tail end here. So that's what we're looking like so far. Um, Anastasia. <clears throat> cream contour kit that I have. I'm going to use these lighter shades on top, obviously, to cut out the center of my lids here. I feel like I forgot how to cut with concealer. I'm just, I'm lost, I'm scared, I'm afraid. So in the center of this, I'm going to go back in with Citrus Zinger right in the center, and I'm going to follow that up by blending out those edges with the shade Pink Grapefruit. And I might jump into Cranberry Vanilla. I don't know. I'm debating. We're, we'll see. We will see where this goes. I'm literally, wow. Um, then I'm going um, in with this little unnamed brush. I'm going into pink grapefruit. And I'm just gonna hit these tail edges here. Oh shit, I ruined it. That looks like shit now. Oh no. Mm. 
I want to go in with a shade from JD Glow called Starluster from their Galaxy Shadow Collection and I'm just going to pop that over that center lid. I'm just going to go in with my finger to be honest. Alright, I'm going to do the same stuff to this eye and then I will be back to finish off the look with you guys. We got lashes on now, baby. We got lashes. Lashes for days. Let's do some under. Let's do some lash line. Let's do it. Alright, I'm taking pink grapefruit. Again, just that light sort of bluey baby pink and I'm going in on the inner corner. Is that... We're at the home stretch. I didn't put any, um, I did not put any, what's it called on, eyeliner, <laughs> because I don't think this look needs it. End of the story. I'm taking this little firm, pointed, sort of like a pencil brush, and I'm taking cranberry vanilla, and I'm just going to kind of take it from the middle of that lash line to that outer third and I'm going to blend another color with this I'm like a baby and I can't handle this oops I hate pencil brushes for this reason I feel like some of them are just too hard but also it's kind of what I need so it's it's a conflict internally um, and then just with that same fluffy side I'm going to take apple strawberry and just buff that over that last outer corner there Um, and then I'm going to take um, my Jessup 230 with the orange color already on it. I'm not adding any more color, but I'm just taking that and I'm just going over where that lower lash line is. Yup. literally feel my eyes watering okay I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I will be back with some final thoughts really quick before I finish off the eyes I am gonna put mascara on my lower lashes and I'm also jumping into the color drain queen of hearts palette I don't think this one is available anymore so I put no no this one is. I have another one that's not. Um, but I'm jumping in with the shade Crown, and I'm just taking that on my inner corner really quick. Okay, so this is the finished look that we've got today. No eyeliner. I thought that it would be best to leave this look without, just so you could kind of see more of the details. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys again next week. If you want to keep hanging out with me every week on Fridays at 12.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time, you can click that subscribe button and hang out with me some more. All right, you guys, I will see you later. Stay safe and well. Bye.